The closure of coal-fired power stations has hit regional communities hard, but one town is embracing the energy future. Port Augusta aims to become the renewable energy capital of the world. It already claims to be Australia's renewables capital. Stephen Long went there to see the new economy. Port Augusta on the Spencer Gulf, framed by water, built by coal. Across the salt pans, you can still see the chimney of the old northern power station. We could see that it was likely in the world of you know, climate change and dirty coal ash and a 60-year-old power station that change was going to come. Now it's out with the old and in with the renew. I said in 2015 at the closure of the, the coal-fired power station here in Port Augusta that Port Augusta will become, and I believe now has become, the renewable capital of Australia. The Flinders Rangers framed the vast Bungala solar plant, the first of $5.2 billion of renewable energy projects in the pipeline. So the Bungala solar PV project is not only the largest solar PV project in Australia, it's also the largest in the, in the southern hemisphere. And it's only half done. It'll be nearly as big as the Melbourne CBD and make more power than the old coal plant used to. This is what's coming, a technology that can capture and store the sun's energy, a giant tower and a huge field of mirrors, a million square metres of glass, beaming sunlight to superheat molten salt inside the tower and store energy. We can take solar energy from the morning and we can, and we can use it to generate electricity in the evening. The power will cost less than half the price it did when the first plant was built in the US four years ago. Down by the sea, activist and local councillor Lisa Lumsden describes the ideas being explored. So over here we've got two pumped hydro power stations. One of them is going to be the largest in the world. And then across the crest over there we've got 59 wind turbines going up. Pumped hydro is in the feasibility stage, but it's a world of possibility. So we have the wind, the sun, the land, the sea. Uh, we have everything we need to become the renewable energy capital of the world. As the old technology fades, Port Augusta's gaining a renewed economy. Stephen Long, ABC News, Port Augusta.